Hi folks, my name is Clint Hoagland and this is Creating Electronic Music with Chuck. This video is not a tutorial as such. I'm releasing it because I want to draw your attention to the fact that Chuck version 1.5.0 was released on May 18th, 2023. It is out of beta and available to the general public, so at your earliest convenience, head on over to https colon slash slash chuck.stanford.edu and download the new version. Let's take a quick spin through what's new. The first thing is that WebChuck is now a thing. It is now possible to run Chuck in a browser and even to embed Chuck in a web page using JavaScript. I haven't tried any of that, but it will be a fun thing to try in a future video. They also used WebChuck to make what they're calling the WebChuck IDE, which is essentially a web version of Mini Article. So now, assuming it works, you don't even have to use VS Code or the command line to follow along with these tutorials. I did throw some of my old code into this web interface and it seems to be working great so far. And it's got a dark mode! Moving along, the next big thing is Chai, which is Chuck plus AI. This was apparently taught for the very first time at Stanford, like earlier this year. So this is hot off the presses and I don't know a lot about it. One thing I do know though is that what this is not, which is it is not a large language model thingamajig or an LLM. LLMs are the technology powering the big newsy AI chat things like ChatGPT, Midjourney, and Stable Diffusion. When I first saw that Chuck was getting AI, I thought it was that kind of thing and I found that distressing. Without going too far into it, I do know how those technologies work and I do not find them creatively exciting. However, that's not what Chai is. Chai incorporates a technology called Weckinator, which lets you create your own custom learning model and apply it to change the behavior of your program. That seems like it could be fun and useful and also does not participate in the aspects of LLMs that I find objectionable, so Chai will definitely be a topic in future videos. The next thing is that they have revamped the audio engine and Chuck on Windows can now utilize ASIO drivers. I do know what that means and why it might matter, but I'll have to look into it some more and that will probably also make its way into a video at some point. They added some stuff to the type system to help with polymorphism, and that will definitely be a future topic. And then one of the most significant changes from my perspective is that they changed the way that Chuck documentation works. They made a class called CK Doc, and that allows Chuck developers to place documentation for UGENs right next to the code for those UGENs. This has a few major ramifications. The first is that you can just output thing.help to your log, and you can see the commands that you can run against whatever that thing is. The second is that they redid the docs on the website so that the website pulls from that object documentation so you know that the website is up to date. And another thing is somebody went in and added all this documentation for the chuggins so we can finally look at how the chuggins are supposed to be used. I will definitely be going over those soon, what chuggins are and how to use them. So yeah, that's most of what's new in Chuck 1.5. Let me know in a comment what sounds interesting to you. I had originally intended for my next video to be about using joysticks, but it seems that that's currently busted on Windows, so I want to do an experiment with MIDI clock before I jump in and talk about chuggins.